Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Reggie Lamb, and this is my review of Women Who Flirt. Pang Ho Chung directed Women Who Flirt, a movie based on a dating guide that was published in Taiwan. Zhao Jun and Huang Xiaoming play Angie and Marco, two old friends who went to school together and now work together in Shanghai. Marco appreciates Angie, but puts more emphasis on her being a friend than a girl, to a pretty extreme level. <laughs> You know, I've seen that done. It's actually pretty impressive, but never mind that. Angie likes Marco, but since this is a movie, she's never said anything to him and, of course, can't say anything to him because if she does, then we don't have a story. During a business trip to Taiwan, Marco meets Haley, a Taiwanese woman played by Sonia Soy. She's a walking stereotype of every terrible trait we've ever seen in a movie. Whiny, petulant, manipulative, and detached. Haley is horrendous, and I hated her. So too does Angie, who enlists the help of her friends to win Marco over. Most of her friends all look like they went to the same plastic surgeon and chose the same face in the catalog, though the ringleader appears to have scrupulously avoided the knife. Uh, frankly, I don't think I would blame her if she did decide to get some work done. But now I'm just being catty. Her friends teach her about taking selfies and whining and other things that she has absolutely no skill at doing. When I first watched the trailer for Women Who Flirt, I was conflicted. I think Zhao Jun is a great actress, and I think she's very easy to look at. And here she was playing a very tomboyish character. But the movie is obviously, you know, intended for the China market. And it's in Mandarin. That's not usually my thing. However, it's directed by Pang Ho Chung, and the trailer looked interesting, even as it looked pretty mainstream. Women Who Flirt is certainly not anything new in terms of story or characters or situations. We've seen it all before, and we know where it's going, but it's still a very enjoyable trip. I really like this movie a lot more than most romantic comedies, which I don't because I'm usually watching them alone. Never mind. One of the reasons I think I enjoyed this movie is because, let's face it, I'm pushing 50, so I'm much more interested in mature love stories as opposed to teenage puppy love things. But I think a bigger part is the way that the movie allowed me to relate to it. I like the way that Women Who Flirt presents us with things without making us choose sides. Like I said, the film is obviously China-friendly, but it doesn't pander to the China market. It takes place in China and Taiwan, and it will resonate most with a Chinese audience, but it could cross over really easily because the story is very applicable pretty much anywhere. Now, as we all know, I'm not really a fan of China movies, but Women Who Flirt was easy for me to watch because it was different. I'm not even sure I could explain why, but, you know, I'll try. One thing is to say that Angie's friends, who are all gold-digging whores with rebuilt faces, did I say that or just think? Are shown to us as socially repugnant, but still good friends. I like the way that we could appreciate her friends caring and support for her without being expected to find them likable. What I mean is that the movie made me believe that they really genuinely cared about Angie, but we weren't expected to care about them and we could still think poorly of them. They're just as horrendously shallow, manipulative, and emotionally worthless as Angie's adversary, Haley. I didn't watch Tiny Times, but I don't think it's the same thing. I think we were supposed to like those women. And I couldn't, not even in the trailer. Women Who Flirt may be very derivative of or similar to Western romantic comedies, but it still beats the pants off of what women want. A China remake of an American movie so embarrassing that Andy Lau made Switch just to try and distract us. Women Who Flirt is a lot of fun to watch. It's mostly, you know, lightweight and disposable, but it's so well made that it's effortless viewing. Hang Ho Chung's direction is strong, consistent, and assured. His pacing, as well as his character and story development, make Women Who Flirt a very impressive movie simply in structural or technical terms. Besides, there's a lot of little things that make the movie worth seeing. It has the weirdest and perhaps best Sergio Leone homage I've ever seen, including having Ecstasy of Gold playing in the background. It also has the best Chinese movie homage to Ghost since A Chinese Torture Chamber Story. I really enjoyed Women Who Flirt, and I enjoyed it a lot more than I expected, and I can really strongly recommend this movie. I can recommend that you watch it in a cinema, or you wait until it's available for rental online, or you wait and buy a disc. In fact, when the movie's released to home video, I'll update the description with a link where you could buy a disc. If you enjoyed this review, please leave me a comment. If you didn't enjoy the review, leave me a comment.
If you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. That way you'll get to see all the new reviews right away. Thank you for watching.